Okay, what is up? Welcome back. I shook the camera a little bit. Um, welcome back, ladies and gents. Uh, I know this is not the traditional uh, good old Samsonite video that we all uh, know and love, but I did have something a little bit fun planned for today. So I've honestly been really addicted to new types of content that I didn't think I would like before. Uh, for example, wood turning. Apparently I'm fucking like addicted to this shit. I've just been like all day and all night watching clips of just people taking these big hunks of log and just turning them into like fucking vases and bowls and shit. And I love it for some reason. Just completely pointless shit. And I think uh, a lot of people are feeling that right now. Just finding such interest in the most mundane of things uh, with, our, uh, with our limited resources here. Get this fucking trash bag out of the shot. That's kind of disgusting. Okay. You know, at first, being stuck in your house is great and all, being able to binge all the shows that you've been meaning to catch up on and, and catch up on all the old games that you maybe have been wanting to revisit or find some new music. Catch me in the battle bus Fortnite. Ooh. Make it rain, money dance Fortnite. Running from the storm on a Fortnite. But after a while, shit starts to get kind of boring and you start to look for new stuff to keep yourself entertained. Among wood turning and all the other weird shit I've been binging in my recommended, uh, I've been really into tier lists. It, it's There's something very interesting about it in that I think uh, regardless of what the subject is, it's always very fun to watch anyone's opinion on anything. Uh, just because tier lists can get anyone passionate about anything. Uh, for example, Disney princesses. I'm not in particular a huge Marvelous Disney fan. Marvelous, you see what I... <clears throat> There's something about there being a list in front of you and a bunch of characters and you in a life or death situation just having to say who the fuck is top tier Disney princess? Just right now, I don't... It doesn't matter why, just tell me. Please, you can, t you can tell me, come on, just... It's Mulan, isn't it? So I thought we'd look at some tier lists today. I have three picked out that I think will be a lot of fun. If this is not what you were expecting, I don't blame you. And if you don't have fun with us today, then uh, that... Let's get, let's get into it. TV shows. Uh, the categories are not just, you know, S, A, B, C, and so forth. And this one, they are uh, iconic, amazing, good, okay, and trash. Handcrafted categories, picked by the finest sociologists. Phineas and Ferb, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'll piss some people off here. It's not amazing. I mean, like, I think iconic and amazing are two different, like, y you can not like something and still think it's iconic, you know? Like, The Who, I don't really like them, but they're iconic, you know? Phineas and Ferb. It's a cute show. I mean, I guess it's gotta go with Iconic because, I mean, that's just the ranking. I mean, just because it's above doesn't mean we'll have to... You, you, just between you and me, we know that that's, that doesn't really mean it's better, you know? What this... Oh, this is... This is The Office. This is The Office. Okay. I have a weird history with The Office. You know, I used to, I used to really think it was an obnoxious show for pretentious people who thought they knew comedy, but really they were just a bunch of fucking dweebs. Yeah, but go figure. No, I kind of like the show. Friends. Ugh. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be honest, you know, it's, it's a cute show. It's fun to watch almost all the time. You can always just relax with it, regardless of whether or not it makes you laugh. It's simple. It's for smooth brains, you know? So I'll just say it's okay. That's 70 show. Now, I love this show. I think it's fucking hilarious. Honestly, gotta say it's probably in the same category as The Office. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's hot take. Actually, not really. That's not that hot of a take. It's mild take at best. Hannah Montana, as a kid, I never really, it was never really my thing, you know, because I guess it was, it was, it was for girls, you know, and, you know, I'm not a girl, obviously. Wizards of Waverly Place, on the other hand, was probably just in between these two. This was more in the spectrum of like, oh, I can get invested in these characters. Oh, what's Alex scheming up to today? Oh, that, that Justin, he's such a stickler, and that Harper, she's so... Quirky. Andy and Mac, I'm a little too old for this, so I'm just gonna put it in trash because all new Disney shows are pretty much terrible. I know, such a hot take, right? I'm so cool and I'm into cinematography. Okay, you. I actually re am rewatching the show for the third time and I'm not sure why. It's not amazing. It's just there's something about it that's so interesting and different. I really like shows that make you like question uh, who you're really rooting for here because, you know, you want to like the protagonist, but also, like, he's a little fucked up. And, you know, you don't want to hate him completely because you watch it and you're like, he's not, like, a fucked up person. Even as you're watching him, like, kill somebody and, like, bash his teeth in with a mallet, you're just like, he's, you know, he's not such a bad guy. 13 reasons why I could go off on for hours, but it's terrible. It's god awful. I hate it. The name of the show is on the tip of my tongue. I don't remember exactly, but I never watched it, so I'm just gonna put it in trash because all new Disney shows are trash. What did I say? Ant Farm I thought was cute, but 
still trash. Like, I mean, it's definitely worse than like Hannah Montana. Actually, I'd, mm, I'd say it's, eh, God. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna flip it. We're gonna flip a coin. Actually, I will, that's, okay. Eh. I didn't call, I didn't call it. I just kind of flipped a coin. Uh, heads it's in, okay. Tails it's in trash. And it's tails, baby. Ooh, sorry. Lost, I've never seen. I've heard good things about it. Um, ethically, it's hard for me to just put something in a category when I haven't seen it, but judging by what I've, I've, I've heard of it and the overall consensus I'm sure from the population, I'm gonna go with good. <laughs> it's in the same category as Austin and Alley, Disney Channel's Austin and Alley. Tiger King, I'm kind of surprised this is in here. This is very recent. I started watching it. I thought it was good. I thought it was interesting. I kind of want to finish it. But for now, I'm just gonna put it in good. Parks and Rec, I'm gonna have to say probably good because I, while I used to prefer it to The Office, actually, after watching The Office, I liked the more realistic, awkward, like dark humor of The Office. Last week, I gave a fire safety talk <clears throat> and nobody paid any attention. And then when I went back to like watch Parks and Rec after, it was just came across as like way too cheesy and over the top. This kind of behavior is never tolerating in Boracua. You shout like that, they, they put you in jail. Right away. Especially since the setting was supposed to be like a very realistic office setting, but they were very over the top cheesy characters. I'm going off and you don't care. Glee, I think is trash. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, type it out. Type it out in the comments. Sam, you are stupid, dumb, dumb, idiot head. Big Bang Theory. Honestly, I like it better than Glee. Sorry. Criminal Minds, Criminal Minds, okay. I, I've wanted to make a video on Criminal Minds for like a year now because it's like a weird guilty pleasure. Objectively, the show is terrible. Most of the acting is terrible. The writing is terrible. The stupid edits, the transitions, the cinematography, everything about it is terrible. But I just love the show so goddamn much. It's Breaking Bad is, I'm a little bit biased, my favorite show of all time. I mean, I guess this literally is a bias list. It's kind of, that show is a beautiful subject of human creativity and some other cool big word. Black Mirror, you know, this is the problem with this, you know, this categorizing thing is because like, I wouldn't say the show necessarily is iconic yet. I think maybe at some point it could be. I think it could be like the modern day, like the Gen Z, like Twilight Zone. But I mean, the show is fucking phenomenal. I have loved every single episode, but season five, it's kind of trash. Just, just saying. <laughs> American Horror Story, I've also wanted to make a video on because while I feel very, I feel very strongly about the show, I'll just say that, but with some seasons better than the other. I think it's hard to really categorize this show overall, but Murder House, Asylum, and Cult are the best seasons. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just... Drake and Josh, I mean, I, again, I got I kind of got to put it in Iconic. I mean, where are my Gen C, Gen, Gen Z kids at? You know, Scooby Doo, obviously iconic. That show, it, it, the original like show from the '60s is so fucking terrible. They even have a laugh track. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that Scooby Doo used to have like a laugh track? It's so fucking weird. Oh, we can follow them in the jungle, thanks to Scooby's keen tracking nose. <laughs> and like the show itself was re really dumb. Like the voice acting was terrible. The animation was really janky. There's nothing more fun than just like zoning out and putting on some old Scooby Doo and just letting your brain just go fucking smooth for like an hour. Too bad. This Scooby snack smells delicious. A Scooby snack? <laughs> Teen Wolf? Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe not Maybe not iconic. If, if you gave me, like, the complete, like, DVD thing of the, like, the whole show, I would watch it tonight. I would watch it right fucking now. I would stop recording Riverdale. Ooh! Uh, I've seen ads for this High School Musical, the musical, the series, and I'm just gonna say trash. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it. I don't think I'm breaking anyone's hearts here. Okay, what, I've been recording for like 30 minutes. So let's do one more. Now this one is the hot button one, the one everyone's been arguing about. And I mean like everyone who's anyone, you know? Let's waste no time. This video has gone on long enough. Popeyes. Now Popeyes, we're gonna go with B tier because you know, it's good. It's great to eat when you got like the munchies, but like it's hard to really go more than like 20 straight minutes of eating it without feeling like a human garbage disposal. Uh, I mean, McDonald's, I'm gonna go with A tier because for the most part it's good, but the same thing, you know, I feel like you just kind of need to like throw up and like take a bath afterwards. Arby's, F tier, don't wanna hear it. 
I don't think I'm gonna hear it. Probably no one will argue with me on that, but I don't wanna hear it either way. Five Guys, I'm gonna go with S tier because that shit, that is like some classic like diner burger done right. I love that shit. I will eat it any day of the damn week. Give me them five men. Sonic, I'm gonna go with like C tier. Cause it's like, it doesn't really make you feel like shit. It's not great either. I mean, even when you're really hungry, it's just kind of like, you know, I'm sustaining nutrients. Carl's Jr., uh, we're gonna go D tier. Cause you know, if it came down to Carl's Jr. and Arby's, Carl's Jr. any day of the week. But if it came down to Carl's Jr. and Sonic, probably Sonic. I don't know what the fuck Elevation Burger is. I'm just gonna go through and get all the ones I've never tried out of the way so we don't have to worry about that. What the fuck are all these fucking restaurants? Taco John's? What is this shit? Chipotle, I feel very strongly in that I think it is mediocre. C tier. Red Lobster, you know, like, it's whatever. It's just kind of like the Carl's Jr. of fine dining. Fuddruckers is fun every time. I'm gonna go with A tier. A lot of grease, but damn, it's some good shit. And it's always a fun time at... Fuddruckers, and you always kind of want to say Rudfuckers, which is a bonus. Quiznos, you know, the dead subway, where their their motto was literally just mm 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 toasty. I'm gonna go with D tier, you know, it's like, it's kind of like, it's Subway, but just kind of like, okay. Cold Stone, S tier, some of the best shit in the world. But I mean, it's ice cream, so like, obviously it's kind of hard to make ice cream bad. Papa John's, F tier, sorry. Eat shit. Papa, Golden Corral, D tier. I mean, you know, whatever. Go in there if you're like hungover and like just want to eat alone and be sad. Taco Bell, I'm gonna have to go with, I'm gonna have to go with A tier because that's some damn good food. I personally have never gotten the shits. I've never really understood the Taco Bell shitting meme, but if I, oh uh, wait, yeah, I can't say that because I worked there. Shit. Okay, now maybe being controversial here, S tier. We are rating them based on food, not on like, like, judging them as a restaurant. Chili's, look, okay, this is definitely gonna be controversial, but I'm gonna have to go S tier. I fucking love Chili's. There's never a bad time at Chili's. That shit is fun. The little game tablets, I can just play, like, Plants vs. Zombies while I eat my fucking, like, ribs. Absolutely. Never turning that down. CeCe's Pizza, more like Feces Pizza. Get out of here, man. Burger King, more like Burger Ding Dong. You're in the trash can now. Denny's is like IHOP, but, like white people getting out of church on a Sunday afternoon, if you know what I mean. Domino's, um, I'm gonna say it's a little bit better than Little Caesars, just because I think I like their options. You know, they got wings, they got good delivery time. I like their app, it's convenience. I have a little bit of extra money laying around. I just wanna get some Domino's, get like a nice two liter, get some of those little like chocolate, like lava cakes, get like some wings and like a pizza, just kind of splurge with some boys. Subway, I know, uh, I know not a lot of people like Subway, okay? I understand this, trust me. But I'm gonna have to go A tier because I will never turn down Subway. In fact, if if I'm, like, generally hungry, I will never, like, not be in the mood for Subway. I fucking love sandwiches is what I'm trying to say. In-N-Out Burger, dude, I used to have friends that, like, you know, be, like, rich friends that would go to California, and they would come back and they'd be like, dude, you've been to L.A., right? You've been to L.A., you tried In-N-Out, and I'm just like... No. And I'd be like, oh my god, you have to fucking try it, dude. It's the fucking bomb diggity, dude. You have to go out to LA. Just, dude, just go out to LA. Just have some fucking in and out, dude. It'll be fucking dope. And then they finally built one in my town, uh, in my state and town, actually across town for me, so it was very inconvenient. But I went across town where there's a shit ton of traffic. I sat in like a 40 minute line waiting and I finally tried an In-N-Out burger and I was like, holy shit, this is like mediocre. And while it's not terrible, just the overhypeness and it being that disappointing is going to make it F tier. I hope In-N-Out loses all of its stocks and burns to the ground. I hope that story was worth it. Was it worth it? I think it was worth it. IHOP is S tier. I will always, like, I want to be buried underneath, like, an IHOP. It's really good at any time and it's always enjoyable and you can, every time, either crave, like, the same thing or you can crave something different every time, but it doesn't matter because every time is, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's like a time machine when you step in there. Also, like, you feel like when you get in a booth, especially if you're with somebody, there's like, everything else just kind of disappears and it's just like that quiet diner atmosphere. I love it. I want to like, it reminds me of like the fucking, that Spongebob thing where he lost his identity and he was like sad in that diner. Oh no, I lost my pen. Panera Bread, I'm going to have to go D tier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the white girls. Haha, <laughs> you got stereotyped. How does it feel? What are you going to go drink your Starbucks? <laughs> white Castle A tier. Have you ever had a White Castle burger and been like, this ain't it? No, you haven't. I'm sorry. I'm kind of getting tired. I've done a lot of fucking tier lists now. Wendy's, um, 
their Twitter kind of makes me have mixed emotions about them. I'll put them in C tier. Whataburger, that's that's like D tier. I'm sorry. Whataburger. I live in Texas, so like it's all I hear about, so please understand me when I say like I'm so fucking sick of hearing about Whataburger. And Zaxby's, I'm gonna put in A tier. It's like Kane's just a little bit worse. And uh, Jesus Christ, I think that is gonna do it um, for for these tier lists. I had a lot of fun. I've been itching to do these and I think I got them out of my system. I kind of ruined them for myself doing this because I've been sitting here doing this for 45 minutes. We had a fun time. You got to know my opinion on all these different things that you definitely were, I'm sure, constantly thinking about and worrying about. So now you have your answers and you can sleep soundly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I would like to do some more videos. I have some cute little ideas in mind. I'm still working on how to get like a cool kind of setup and I want to try experimenting with some new video ideas and working around with some stuff, but you have to excuse me while I'm getting this all set up. But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Uh, I hope you guys are staying entertained and having fun as much as you can during this quarantine and I'll try and have some more videos to entertain you soon because I know you're just on the edge of your seat waiting for a new Sam is dead video. I will be seeing you guys soon. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry for the ruckus, but now group gonna talk us. Step out for some air, cause we drop on like corpses. But it put me on ruthless. Got the dry shit and bricks, make them stutter, cause I'm losing. I'm a horse, man, they call me the rawest. To put you in a motherfucking coffin, my talking. Talking and knocking like a motherfucking coffin. Profit, take them all out like.